Let's talk about the cat and mouse game of speed versus a good move on the mound. Al Leiter, do you have a good move on the mound back in your playing days? Uh, according to our uh, statistician, Chris Benetti, I had uh, 32 pickoffs and 20 balks. <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> Watching you get ready, you're balking like crazy. Look at you. All right. <laughs> so here it is. We are in a day and age where there's half the amount of stolen bases from when you were stealing bags in the mid-80s. It was about 1.2 stolen bases per game. It's down to about 0.6. I wanted to go back historically. We got Melvin Upton, who's got 300 bags stolen in the Major Leagues, and Harold Reynolds, 250. Steve Carlton leads all pitchers in Major League Baseball, 147. Burley's number two. So you got lefty-lefty. The obvious question to pitchers who aren't pitchers like, it's so easy, you're facing the runner, you should be able to pick him up. It's not that easy. I put in Langley for you, H. He was awesome. When he played with the Angels, that little right snap there. throw, I played with Dave Rigetti. I'm finishing with Andy Pettit. Andy Pettit was third all time. And you know what, Melvin Upton, you faced him. I want to hear what you look for. But there's a common denominator for these lefties. I can't reiterate enough. Running is down. Since I retired in 05, it was about .85 stolen bases per game in major leagues every night. We're down to .6, so there's less running. So 300 stolen bases, kudos to you. Awesome. A couple things before I let you guys go with what you're looking for. All right. the, big, the number one thing for me for a left-handed pitcher to be able to negate the running is, can you have the same leg kick cadence and uh, delivery and cool. not alter your delivery just to, just to compensate and try to trick the runner? Meaning, uh, when I used to, I didn't, have a good, I didn't have a good pickoff. It was all about first move for me. If, I could, if I, you were going, Melvin, I got you. Because most of the time, in my opinion, I think you're going on first move. I'm going to tell you the reason why guys that, like, Jimmy Key I played with, played with uh, the late Mike Flanagan, guys that can hang and check you out, I couldn't do that. Nope. My rhythm was this. As lefties, especially power guy, if I knew I was coming home, I would head fake you. I would do all what I could. But when I knew I was coming home, Melvin, it was pop and I was going. So there was something I know you could pick on. Andy Pettit, to me, had the up, down, and out. He was able to, he was able to hang. He also was able to hang, come down, and still have the ability to be sitting on the back leg to go and see you go and throw over. There's right. a cheap move for the lefties. Last thing before you go. Okay. There's an imaginary 45 degree, right to about this camera right over here. If you go on the right to this line here, this is the, this is the gray area because you're supposed to step to every base. They don't. They cheat. That's the cheap move. You come up, so long as you don't break the plane of the pitcher's rubber, and you slide toward home plate. And give me this. Most every left-hander will go right back to first base in hopes that the first base umpire just says, doesn't see it. you got to walk it off. Most of no them. Listen, the home plate, they can't see exactly where the angle. So, so long, this, is, to me, was the one for lefties. Hang, have the same rhythm and cadence, come down and out, and if you were able to step toward home plate and go and not really alter where's my glove, where's my leg, does he swing it fast? Faster, slower. Those were the guys that were consistently okay, we'll picking guys off. Real quick. The first guy, Steve Carlton. I mean, he had it awesome. He okay. had that little smooth thing, and he was ultimate cheap, okay. cheap move. All right. So first thing first, you said something I've always believed. I think left-handers already know I'm going home. Eighty percent of those guys, I'm going home or I'm going over when they come set. Ninety they percent. They got their mind made up. Yeah. So now the other thing you do, you have to read, and you say first movement. There's only a few guys you go first movement on. You can really act, for me anyway, I could read guys and be able to get that break. And the other thing is the Bach. If they're bringing this leg back here, they're, 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 they're breaking. Slide over here. Would you slide over here what All Harold's right. talking about? Come so, straight in line with me. So, Wait a minute. Stop that oh, point. Oh, you want it over here? No, no, right here. What Harold just said, as a pitcher, left-handed pitcher, I can't cross the pitcher's rubber. As soon as I do, I have to go home. I cannot cross this line. And go to first base. So okay, that's so, a number one so, a flaw so keep, for a lefty. Keep that camera there. Here's what I look for a lot of times. A closed area I can't see, he's going home. Open here, he's coming over. So if he's closed, he's going home. He opens, he's coming over. Okay. So there was a slight variation of the leg yes. kick that you, you look for. You got to do your homework. You got to study, guys. Okay. So what about you? We'll let you talk real quick. What did you look know. for? You, I think you showed Andy Pettit. And like you said, open and closed. That's how you read it. But Andy Pettit was one of the guys where he kept everything so compact and it all looked the same all the time. Mm -hmm. So you never knew when he was going to come over there. Um, for me, I went first move off of him a lot of times because I couldn't read yeah. him. It was so good. you can't read a guy, first move. And first he went move. high enough in the leg, you can do that. But yeah. first move means if he moves his glove, 
if he moves is that everybody thinks first move is right now I go. No, it's the first thing he moves, I'm off and running. Because now if he moves his glove, that means he's starting, I'm going. Did you have a book on every guy? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I, I did my research. I knew what type of move he had before we even All right, started. So real quick, what were the biggest, you mentioned about, you mentioned about leg kick, you mentioned about space. What were some of the big ones? Was it a head? Was it the way they broke? Was it, was it the cadence? Was it the rhythm? I think, like Harold just said, in order to start, you have to move your hands. Your hands have to move. You see, very rarely do you see guys start their windup and just lift their leg. Okay. There's always got to be something that starts, and, and I completely agree with him on that. All right, let's go. We're going to steal some bags. So here's what we're going to do at home. For you, you at home and Greg over there in Studio 3, Al's going to give us some moves. Right. Melvin's going to stand in front of me. In front like you're I'll be behind him. We're going to read him and see if we can get breaks on him. All right? Like a true base stealer. See, he went back and <laughs> measured himself real quick. All right, I gotta stay a little further out so I can. Wait, real quick, what did you do? One, two, three, crossover? What do you got? Just one, two, three, and a turn. One, two, three, and a turn. All right, so mine would be very simple. I would do, let me get a good vibe as to what they're doing, and I just picked two guys off. No, you didn't. You're giving us your look. You ready? Yeah, Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. All right, so here, I'm gonna come up. Go! (laughs) You balk. I didn't balk. (laughs) Yes, you did. 250 bags. (laughs) Where are you going? Exactly. I was safe. I'll tell you what, we'll play the video back. Keep I mean, off. you probably were going to be safe, but you just said you don't go first. How were you safe? And he was, he you was open. You just well, said. I guess, you just I, said open. I guess because I thought he was going to throw over. <laughs> so I'll be see? honest with see? you. No. See what we got already? Guess All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Gone. You're barking. <laughs> oh, my God. I stepped right to see first. If... These guys stole 550 bags of piece. Well, you're, studio you're taking it. Look, time out, time out. Not every key is the same. You're taking so long. That if you're going to come here like that, I'm, I got that And that's pace. another thing I wanted to add. Some guys are faster than, than, than other guys as far as their delivery to the plate. So that might also dictate whether you're going to go first move. So I don't even care if he comes to first. Wait, let already... me say this real quick, because and I hate to throw guys under the bus, but uh, Jason Giambi used to throw knuckleballs back to the pitcher. He didn't like to throw. So did you also know the first baseman as to whether oh, they had absolutely. to go down or not? Because yeah, wasn't that absolutely. Frank Thomas when he was there before he came yes. to DH couldn't throw? Mo Vaughn, I had Mo Vaughn at the end of his career at uh, first. He that, that, all these things play in. There's, there's a few foundational things, but the rest you got to figure out. So right now with you right, just two more right here, two more. You hang so H. long, it doesn't matter. You're not making it right. And also what goes with it, too, is it depends on how big your lead is. If I'm out there and I know I'm going first move, I'm going to extend a little bit more. Then I do that. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. But I already know if you <laughs> have that. I know you have that. God, I wish I was this good when I played. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. What? I'm like standing right there. Melvin. All right, ready? I, I, would, I would first move you because We're gonna... you're, you're pretty slow. Yes, and sir. honestly, I, I'm, I'm playing along here. Like <laughs> if, I, if I really knew I was coming home, it would be. Oh, that was yeah, good. See, that. That's good. That, now I have to think. Nah, yeah. that's good, Al. You should have used that. I should have. I'd have picked <laughs> off more than 32 guys, and I balked 20 <laughs> times. How about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, now, and now you're crossing, too. You know why I balked? Real cross. quick, before I go back to you, Greg. I balked because I knew when Melvin Upton or Harold Reynolds had a great lead and I was going home, I figured you were going to be safe anyway, and I used to do that. Mikey P was behind the plate. I was like, all right, well, he's going to be safe anyway. Maybe I get away with one. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, God dang it. Balk. I saved him. I saved him. I uh, caught stealing. You're fun. You saved him. Wow. You took a <laughs> well, stolen base if, from him. Because yeah. he got a ball. Yeah. <laughs> stolen base. Something like that, Greg. You guys are great hosts. Melvin, I'm sorry that Al had to pick you off a couple times, but at least they let you speak.